Good morning, my name is Ryan Littlestone from forexflow.live. Uh, here we are, start of another brand new week, and uh, we're going to see what's going on or going to be going on this week. Um, first things first is looking at what I see as the, the main driving forces as we come into this week. Um, it's pretty much what we had coming out of last week. And we've got two things happening at the moment, um, really front and centre. The first thing is uh, countries reopening. We're seeing all the restrictions slowly being lifted. Um, and that's playing into a bit of positivity, into risk, you know, that, that, that countries are getting back towards normal. We're a long, long, long way to go yet, but we're on the uh, right path, as they say. But now on the flip side, what we've got is these increasing tensions between the US and China, and also some proxies to that. <clears throat> between uh, countries like Australia and China now with tariff threats and, and things like that going on. So these are the, the pretty much the main two themes that we've got going on. Um, underneath that, obviously, we're looking at the data to see how bad things are going to get. But on, on the data front uh, for, for economies in, in the main, it's going to be potentially now just seeing if we, we're at a bottom in terms of the bad news and whether things are going to start to... Uh, progressing back or whether we're going to see some reaction in, in you know from consumer spending um, as things come online it's going to be a slow process and as with most economic data it is lagging so we're still probably you know a month behind on some of the data so that, but that's the things that I'm looking at this week uh, <clears throat> the main standout things now one of the, the currencies I'm looking at uh, I've got into a trade on on potentially things improving uh, is uh, dollar versus the Mexican peso. Now this has been a currency that uh, really got sold off in amongst the, the EM space if you like and it really jumped we were down at sort of the 17, 18, 19 handle and we got all the way up to 25s, uh, 26s at one point and although it's come off slightly from those highs it's, it's pretty much just going sideways at the moment. And this is potentially a trade that I'm looking at for a decent break lower if we see this positivity continue. Mexico's been one of those leaders who are opening up a bit faster than everywhere else. Now, if we look at the chart, we can see those highs in place over the, the March period and into April. And although we're not seeing a, a true retracement yet, um, some of the guys in our trading will be looking at trading the, the head and shoulders pattern that appeared in the, in the latter part of the, sort of the last month or so. And that's a break under the 24 level. Um, now, I got in uh, last week around about 24.08, and I'm looking to build, if it does move back up towards those highs, up towards the 26 area, I'll be looking to add to the short and sit on this trade for, for a long time. If we break those highs, then that's when I'll reassess the, the trade altogether. Well, what I'm looking for now is a, is a break of this 24 handle um, and a meaningful break where we see it fully confirmed that we're not going back above it, and that opens up the downside uh, for, to see how far we can go down. <clears throat> now, as I say, a lot of this is predicated on the fact that Mexico is reopening its economy, it's reopening from restrictions, um, and it's a little bit ahead of, of everywhere else. Um, but obviously, we've got to keep an eye if, if the virus kicks back in again and we start seeing a second wave, that potentially is going to be, uh, mean that Mexico and other countries are going to reverse all this positivity and then that's obviously going to affect the prices and we're going to see the MEX sold off again. But also looking at the dollar side again with this risk uh, parameters that I've been talking about with China increasing, that's going to have a, a potential safe haven status play for the US dollar. So that's another thing to look at in this trade as well. But at the moment, it's uh, looking OK. We're looking like it's more of a rally sell than a, a dip buy at the moment in this pair. And while it does that, then uh, I'm happy to be short. So those are the things we're looking at this week. Uh, and as usual, I wish you luck with your trading and uh, good luck.